Welcome, friends. Welcome to AB Astrology. So today we're going to talk about Rohini Nakshatra. Let me share my screen. So this is a basic slide um, I have prepared for Rohini Nakshatra, which is the next nakshatra I'm doing in the Nakshatra series. So it's it's called the Star of Growing. So we're going to talk more about that. Rohini, the star of ascent, it falls from in the Taurus sign, in the most earthy sign, one of the earthy sign, the first earthy sign, from 10 degrees uh, uh, to 23 degrees, 20 minutes. So falls right in the Taurus sign. It's called the star of the ascent, going up to the ladder higher in the summit, the reddish one, the growing one, Surbhi, the celestial cow, is also associated with this nakshatra, the, uh, which we also know in the Hindu mythology, Kam Dhenu, or uh, wish fulfilling cow. So all the desires or whatever you ask for uh, from this divine cow, it will fulfill all your wishes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of you already know about that. So Lord is Moon, the Chandra, Deity is Brahma. So this is out of the 27 nakshatra, this is one of those nakshatra where uh, Trinity, the Brahma himself is the Deity associated with this nakshatra. The uh, other two nakshatras are Radra and Shravana. So this is a very... Uh, important nakshatra. All the nakshatras are important, but this is a special one, you can say, because we all know it is very special to moon as well. And um, the ruling planet for this nakshatra is uh, Chandra. So the Shakti behind uh, this nakshatra is Rohana Shakti. The basis above is plants, and the basis below is waters. So again, everything related to growth, everything related to Cultivation, it's all about this Rohini. And we all know Brahma is the architect, uh, I'm saying architect, the creator of the universe. Vishwakarma came to my mind, which is again associated with Brahma the action. Anyways, so symbol is ox cart, which was shown here. I could not find the better picture, but uh, because of the copyright, but this is one of the symbols for this nakshatra. So a lot we can learn just from the symbology, which is very important to understand in each and every nakshatra. <clears throat> the symbology behind each and every nakshatra, each and every symbol. And all the nakshatras, they have various symbols. They are not stick to only one symbol. So ox cart, we can learn more about ox, cart, rath, cars, which are all associated with this nakshatra, which gonna which we're going to learn more in the later slides. So the nature is Rajas, very well um, uh, makes sense. Direction is upward looking, just like I said, the star of Ascent going or looking up to the summit. Yoni's male serpent, again, just from the snake part, we can do so many predictions. If anyone has prominent planets, in uh, Rohini or Moon in Rohini or Sun in Rohini. Desire is Moksha. Association of Venus, yes, because it falls in a Venus sign with Parvati Ji, which is the Adi Devta. Bird is, uh, the bird is out. The element is Earth as the number two sign of the zodiac is a very earthy element. Tree is Jamun um, or in English, we can call it Java Plum. We all know Jamun in India back in the days. I still remember the Jamun guy used to come and we used to eat Jamun from uh, them. So if you have key planets, then again, take this as an excuse if you want to take. If you have prominent planets or regardless if you have no planets in uh, Rohini because Rohini is still active in our chart anyways. So you can plant Jamun tree or if you want to uh, activate or if you want to take the positive 
uh, side or activation of this nakshatra, uh, you can plant jamun tree or you can have jamun tree. Oh, jamuns. But we can always plant jamun tree. So common uh, health issues, ailments related to this nakshatra is cold, as moon is involved, coughs, irregular menses in the ladies, poor diet, throat disease. So anything related to second house is very much, even though throat, uh, some people take it from the third house. So um, the body part associated with this nakshatra, not with the zodiac sign, is forehead, ankles, and calves. So if you have this nakshatra afflicted, or uh, malefics or hemp between the malefics. So if you're having um, these forehead, ankles or calves or shins also associated with the nakshatra issues. So you must be having Rohini uh, side effects or uh, you, you can say that uh, Rohini must be, might be troubling in your chart. Okay, so what exactly simply Rohini means? So in one word, it is all about creation, create, and create. J just to, uh, again, uh, repeat myself, um, the deity associated with this nakshatra is Brahma, and whose job we all know in the tri Trinity portfolio is about creation. So there are many other, a few other nakshatras associated with uh, creation, Chitra, Purvu Falvani. I have already done the video on Chitra. And a lot of you have uh, also liked that video. So uh, when we're going to discuss about Purva Falvani, we're going to talk more about the creation part in that. But Rohini is all about creation. So wherever in your chart Rohini falls, or if you have prominent planets in Rohini, that area of life or that house signification must be um, producing a lot of creation. So insanity creation, creativity. So it's all about creativity. And this is one of the most fertile nakshatra as well. And one of the brightest star in the sky. So these are some quick um, interesting facts about the Rohini nakshatra. And I have taken this uh, particular picture, which was very interesting because agriculture, we all know, cultivation, growth, agriculture, highly associated with Rohini. And in this picture, it was showing the rainbow, which is exactly opposite to Rohini is Jeshta. So the combination of Rohini, Jeshta, and Jeshta and Rohini, uh, uh, Anuradha, is the exact opposite if anyone wants to uh, make um, more points, more research with the opposite themes, it's very interesting. So that's why I have taken this particular picture. Okay, so let's learn more about the meaning of Rohini, what exactly it means. So I have gathered some key points for all of you guys. So you can sit back, relax, and you can go through these points because we are relaxing at home these days anyways because of the COVID. So Rohini simply means fertility. It's a, one of the most fertile nakshatra. It has an association with agriculture, just like I have mentioned. Civilization, because fertility hence relates to the civilization as a conclusion. So it is a very productive uh, nakshatra which lays the foundation or the stone for every kind of growth. Yes, like the growth of plant from a seedling, the what we bow. Just like they say in Hindi. So symbol also signifies the need of travel and movement that we can learn and observe with the ox cart, which is the one of the symbol with this uh, nakshatra. So a lot of movement, traveling is also seen with this uh, nakshatra as well, and which is good as well. So in South India, which I forgot to uh, mention here as well, uh, in South India, uh, as a symbol, they also take the banyan tree. So which also gives us the shade 
and protection towards the humanity. And I have already done the video on banyan tree in the Nakshatra and Mother Nature series, the importance of banyan tree uh, in our classical text, what exactly it says. So just like I was um, mentioning the symbol of an ox cart represents, reflects commerce, uh, transportation, fertility, ability to carry goods or uh, transfer of things that we can learn or observe from the um, um, symbol of ox cart. So uh, multiple or illegal relationships that also we can learn or see uh, from this nakshatra, especially if someone is having malefics in Rohini or someone is having, or suppose if you have moon, sun or ascendant in Rohini and malefics are uh, giving the aspect on the seventh lord, seventh house or seventh lord is associated with Rohini. Few times I have seen uh, multiple or uh, illegal relationships. So it has a big association with luxury because of the Venus and enjoyment of all fine things in life, which is all about Venus, which is all about, uh, so pleasure, luxury, enjoyment is very much high in this uh, nakshatra. Okay. So Rohini also translate as the reddish one. And um, as we all know, it is one of the most attractive um, uh, in the bright sky, which we have uh, um, discussed here. One of the brightest star in the sky. So from here, we can also learn that it is also called the reddish one. And um, which signifies passion and the abundance of warmth of the star because it is also associated with um, red color, just like it says reddish one. And red color itself is very attractive. So if someone is wearing red, um, like the usual term is if someone is wearing a red sari in India or red color or red Ferrari, which is because again, the exotic cars, the cars are highly associated with this nakshatra is highly attractive. So it, it's, it, as it falls in a very earthy sign, so it's a very earthy nakshatra, all the earthy and materialistic pursuits, goals, ability to bring go, growth, expansions and development in all the areas of life are seen in this nakshatra. As moon, the mother comes under in the domain of Venus in the Taurus sign. So Rohini is a nakshatra of love, passion, sexuality, uh, which is uh, very much into Rohini, generally fertile, creative. And because of this, it is a very protective of almost everything, but can draw a lot of jealousy. This is a very uh, common uh, attribute or trait of this nakshatra. It can draw a lot of jealousy. People say, and we all know the story of Jeshta, and um, Rohini, because uh, Rohini, a moon, like to spend its most of its time with Rohini and Jeshta was the most jealous one. We all, we all know about that story, so I will not repeat that. But what I have seen in my research in Kali Yuga, um, in a lot of charts I have seen, it is working opposite as well. So a lot of Rohini natives, are also jealous of others. That also I have seen in my research. So I have done the research on 10, 20 charts and then I'm telling you on, uh, on this. So again, because in Kali Yuga, everything is working opposite. The negative traits are more hyped and uh, things are uh, working in the opposite manner more. So this also I have seen, of course, um, and the, whatever the classic says, they are absolutely right and they are always right. So the merger of two feminine planets, Moon and Venus, th uh, threshold for the material expression of Shakti. Again, uh, we already spoke about that in the first slide. Uh, the Adi Devta for, because of the Venus connection is Parvati Ji. So that is why it is mentioned here. 
it is one of the most feminine nakshatra because of the two feminine planets coming together very receptive bountiful productive and fruitful of all the nakshatras out of 27 so moon's nurturing ability comes here um a lot in rohini we're going to talk more about that in the padas and venus creativity we all know um it falls in a uh, taurus sign so earthy sign so creativity is there productivity is there so let's move on to the next slide okay so the bird associated with this nakshatra is aw and i have gathered uh, some few interesting points that what we can learn from the aw so aw is known for its musical skill as per the script, scriptures and we all know rohini nakshatras people with prominent rohini uh, in their chart they are very good in uh, singing they are very good in artistic qualities they are very good in painting throughout many charts i have seen this so here we can find a very good connection with the owl which is associated with this nakshatra even the narad rishi ji the brahm rishi learned singing from the owl and he, uh, he met near the mansarovar lake on the himalayas and according to link puran so it is mentioned there from uh, from there i have taken this point and thus a rohini born native possesses a good voice and good singing ability so we can see the connection how it is coming so that is why i'm saying the symbology the bird symbology the animal symbology or the symbols associated with each of the nakshatras are very important to decipher uh, or to do more research on it so Uh, a very good compatibility um, in the uni scheme with mrigashira because um, this is male serpent mrigashira is female another interesting point was the owl association with lakshmi ji who grants the prosperity we all know that and owls this is we can take it as a remedy for rohini those who are too much into materialism as they can be and they will be so owls have no mental or emotional bonding with their belongings so since this we can take it as a lesson as a learning that they should be less attached they should be less attached to the material wealth they might find it very hard but we can learn it um, so i took this point as a remedy so owl is also associated with wisdom uh it is believed in many parts of the world so in greece there was a um, um athena um goddess of wisdom again associated with uh, uh wisdom actually so again all showing the association of wisdom in its way so just too much of daylight this is a very important point again uh, i find it very interesting again we can take it as a remedy so just as too much daylight blinds the oil owl um so too much wealth can blind the rohini natives so because this nakshatra and we all know the natural second house of the kala purusha is associated with money as well other than the 11th house so they can depending upon their pada which we going to discuss they can go totally blind uh in um, collecting money or into too much of materialism so they should not and they should should be less attached anyways uh, regardless of any nakshatra we have in our chart but this is more prominent in rohini so padas padas are very important uh, i have keep mentioning in the past few videos now to understand to decipher more of the personality more of the remedies which you can uh, take out from the padas more of the traits more of the research you can only able to do it if you are uh, know where it is going into navamsh so the first pada of rohini uh falls into the aries sign so aries navamsha so 
So the uh, moon, Venus and Mars are combined. So the focus here will be more on pleasures, uh, more energetic indulgence, and the key word here would be passion because of the Mars. Mars and Venus coming together in the first Pada. So I will just, uh, uh, in the gist, I will tell you all the uh, about the second Pada. So in the second Pada, um, so here the involvement of Moon, Venus falls in a Taurus Navamsha. So again Venus, so double Venus. So, and we all know the number two sign is a fixed sign. It's an earthy sign. And this can make a person very stubborn, firm on their decisions, on their decisions they are taking for others or related to this, uh, wherever the Rohini is falling in their um, uh, natal chart. It, it can be 8th house, it can be 7th house. So they can be very firm about that, make it very sensuous, very sexual because of the involvement of Venus. The material desires are very high in the Pada too. So if you have uh, any um, planet going into the Taurus sign. So now you know what kind of attributes or traits you can know about the other person. And it is also the Varkotam Pada. So key word here in this Pada would be very much into materialism. And that what I have seen in many charts as well. So whenever I see Rohini falls into the second Pada, I know what kind of personality the other person would be. And this is Padas, just like I'm mentioning, very important to decipher more about Navamsha, more about uh, the remedies you can do in relation to that. So the third Pada involves the Mercury, so Moon, Mercury, Venus. So all three benefits are involved here. So the focus is here more on arts, paintings, business, very business-minded people. And um, and Venus, Saturn, Mercury provides strong results here. Yes, that and that's also I have seen. So more business-oriented Pada this is as compared to the second and the first one. So the last Pada, the fourth Pada falls into the Cancer Navamsha. So Moon, Venus and Moon. So it is again, wherever the Moon is involved, emotion has to be there. Venus involved, emotion has to be there. So there are more focuses on emotions. Uh, on home and domestic comforts, natural fourth house because falls into the Cancer Navamsha. So again, the key words for um, any planet going to do the Pada for would be comforts. So this is very self-explanatory and I did my best to compile the Padas in one um, slide so that you can get the gist of it that if you know if someone is having um, moon in certain pada or any uh, planet in certain pada, what exactly it means. So what we can uh, uh, take from that. So what if someone has moon in Rohini? So the, and the biggest example of that is Lord Krishna, Shri Krishna Bhagwan. So if you want to learn more about Rohini Nakshatra, Look at the story tales mythology um, associated with Lord Krishna because we all know his ascendant and moon, uh, Nakshatra, were both and Rohini. Perfect example if you want to do more research, if you want to learn more about Rohini, learn about him. You're going to know how, and this is again, it's a very uh, uh, clever Nakshatra as well. So that also I have seen. So, moon in Rohini Nakshatra, it attracts a lot of affection, charm, cheerness, lot, lots there. So, a desire to be seen and loved. That's what I have seen. Prominent planets or moon or sun, especially the moon in this uh, Rohini Nakshatra, again, going to the, depending upon the Pada, they want to be, they have the desire to be seen among others and loved. So they demand attention consistently. This is a bang on point uh, with Moon and Rohini. Moon and Rohini emotionally high maintenance people. 
So if your boss has moon in Rohini, high maintenance boss. Parents, high maintenance parents. Who are constantly reminding others of their self-importance. Not to forget the opposite is Cheshta. Which is, again, it totally make. It, it totally makes sense whenever I do research and observe all these points, how the opposite nakshatras are so beautifully syncing with each other. There is a reason why certain nakshatras only coming opposite to certain nakshatras. Why not Purva Bhadrapada is coming opposite to uh, Rohini? There has to be some reason, right? So this is a wonderful placement for mothers to enjoy the central figure because they they demand attention. They like to be the center of the attraction. And they will be the center of attraction uh, no matter what. So appreciated figures in their family demand attention, just like I mentioned. So if someone has moon in Rohini in first pada again, um, Mars is involved as it goes in Aries Navamsha. So they can be short-tempered. Uh, yes, uh, troublesome, confronting nature. And they want to create and don't like to stay still because of the Mars. Because Mars is a soldier, he needs constant action. So, Padas are very important to learn, very important to understand. Because only then you can make out the full story, what is happening behind the scenes. So, Pada too, again, we all know. So, Moon, Venus, Venus. So, here the double Venus is involved. It is a more of a fixed element. They don't like the change more stubborn on the decisions they take and uh, they don't like to change their decisions easily no very loyal in relationships it depends you have to see the full chart so it depends this is a generic statement uh, i have used here so pada three mercury is involved so three benefits are coming together they can be very charming with their speech they can, uh, uh, they will uh, charming uh, with their speech by having a, a way. They know how to speak. They know what to say in front of others. And again, it will depend. If you have the malefic aspect on your rohini, then story will be different. They talk. They listen a lot. And uh, they will be the gossip monger again because of the mercury involvement. It is very much possible. <laughs> And rest you can just go through in your time. And Pada 4, again, Moon, Venus, and Moon again. Very compassionate, uh, too emotional, warm, and tender by nature. So the, this is the more soft side of the Rohini. You will see very moody by nature because uh, the effect of Moon is double here. Moon, Venus, and Moon. But most loving, affectionate, compassionate towards other. Very uh, most loving parents. If your mother has moon in uh, Pada 4, you will see and you will agree to this. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's discuss some of the general traits. I have, there is a huge list, but I, have, I can only put few in my slides. But these are very important. So if you, I'm pretty sure um, if you know someone who's having prominent planets in Rohini Nakshatra, you, you will be, you will agree uh, to this. So very sensual, fertile females may have many kids because of the progeny. Yes, especially if your fifth lord is in Rohini Nakshatra. So very fertile uh, with, with the progeny part. Tendency towards the materialistic enjoyments, yes. Very handsome, very good appearance, very well dressed, yes. Very good speakers, conversionist. Uh, the communication, especially if it falls in the Mercury, Navamsh, very good with their communication. And also the association of Saraswati Ji and Brahma Ji. Good voice, artistic qualities. These are born artist people. I, I have a list of people, um, prominent planets in Rohini. They're painters, they're artists. So even if they're writing something, they write in a very artistic way. If they have third lord involved in Rohini, going into the Mercury Pada or into the second Pada also, 
very um, artistic. Female likes to display their riches. Yes. Remember, they like to be the center of the attraction. They like to be that way. And again, it will all depend if you are having some malefic effect. It can be more or it can be none. So again, depending upon the full chart. This also I have seen female natives promote their husband, thinking that this will give the appreciation uh, by others. This is big time I have observed with Rohini natives. And I will also discuss in the end what is the what what you can do to the jealousy part if you want to uh, if you want to come over that uh, we will discuss that. So they like fragrances again. It is the, because of the involvement of Venus. Very liked in the social circles, center of the attractions, ability to make friends very easily with their charm. So. Suppose if someone is having um, tenth lord or tenth house Rohini, first of all they will be very creative at their workplace. They will be the kind of native who can gather or who, who can do their job so easily with their lot of with lot of their creative ideas, and they can make contracts if they are into contracts or any kind of business deals. They can do it with their charm, which can be expressed through their expressions. Uh, through their um, uh, skills related to their writing skills or uh, related to their communication skills. So they can easily can get any deal with their charm. Prone to seduction, yes, indulgence, materialism, we have already discussed about that. Bullheaded, very but uh, obvious because Taurus sign we all know represents bull ahead. So very firm, whatever decision they take, very firm into that. So uh, jealousy, yes. So we we did just discussed that not compatible with the Uttara Shadha Nakshatra because of the mongoose connection. And here we are talking about this snake, very well uh, uh, self understood. This point is because uh, we all know how the chemistry between the two animals. So prominent, uh, prominent planets in Rohini can give great fan following. Yes, Salman Khan, I have used one of the examples because I think, if I'm not wrong, he has Rahu in Rohini. So huge fan following. And again, how the malefics going to behave in the Rohini Nakshatra, it will vary from benefics going into the um, Rohini Nakshatra. So the another thing which I have seen is they like to show their body um, cleavage like models. Again, you can test it out with many Rohini charts. They like to show their body. Um, this we can learn from the one of the careers associated with this nakshatra, models, actors. They love to eat, especially the exotic food, uh, expensive food also we can say because of the natural second house, because it falls in the natural second house. Sweets, so they they love eating sweets and because of that, especially if it has some association with the sixth lord, it can get, you. one can get diabetes as well because of eating too much of sweets. They love color pink. Uh, this also I have observed in many charts. They love the color pink and um, even if it's a, um, um, this I have tested in one chart, even he's a male, he loves wearing the pink shirts. Or even if he is wearing polos, he loves wearing the pink polos, even though he's a male. So, or the decoration or the home decoration of the pink that also I have seen. So if the uh, Rohini is afflicted, then uh, native separates early from their parents. That also I have seen with this nakshatra. So very impressive eyes. We all know the uh, hypnotic quality of a snake. So because of that connection, very impressive eyes. We all know Venus is also involved and it is one of the brightest stars. So very attractive, very, um, all I can say, very sensuous as well. Um, hypnotic eyes they have. And they like... Uh, doing their eyelashes, especially the females. 
or changing of contact lenses, using the kajals, mascaras, uh, very prominent in Rohini. They love luxury cars. Um, one chart I know, even though um, he wanted to have a Ferrari, we all uh, want Ferrari in our garage, but he cannot afford it. But he had the huge posters of red Ferraris. Again, the color red is associated with this nakshatra as well. So he had the huge posters, wallpapers, computer wallpaper, phone wallpaper, all full with the red Ferrari. So they love luxury cars. They love showing off. Yes, very creative. Huge interest in cosmetics, especially for females. Second Lord, First Lord, or I would say if 12th Lord is involved, then spending too much money into the cosmetic things, which is very much possible, jewelry. And this is very important point uh, in one of the trades I have mentioned. So the father-in-law curse is very dangerous for, an, uh, for a Rohini native. We all know the mythology associated with that of uh, Daksh Maharaj. So if you have prominent planet, so what we can take from this is if you have prominent planet in Rohini Nakshatra, so it's better to um, keep your father-in-law happy. So regardless if you're a male or female, it goes for both. So these are some of the general traits. You uh, have put it into the slide for, for everyone's understanding. So that next time if they meet any Rohini native, they can easily pinpoint um, some traits related to them and uh, they can also uh, tell them about the owl, uh, interesting facts, uh, not to get trapped into too much, uh, too much into materialism and all, and not to get into the fight, especially if your eighth lord is in Rohini and it's being hemmed with the malefic. So you will be prone to have arguments with your in-laws. So you can do it as a remedy, not to get too much aggressive into that house. So what are the remedies uh, one can do is uh, respect, again, because of the association of uh, Surbe, cow, the calm they know, the wish fulfilling cow, because of the pro uh, productivity, the fertility, ox is also related to the fertility, the bull and uh, cows. So respect towards the cow, which we all should do. Mother Nature is the best way to seek its blessing, its powers. Growing plants, yes, planting trees on each and every video, I keep focusing on that. Gardening, so doing gardening, uh, growing plants with your kids, with your family, um, especially if you're sixth lord, eighth lord, twelfth lord, or your Mahadasha lord is in of Rohini. These are certain life-changing uh, things, habits, or remedies you can do for yourself. Worshipping any kind of Shakti, because of this we have discussed, uh, the Parvati Ji, uh, the Shakti, the Adi Devta, uh, you can do one of the remedies. Respecting females, very important. Moon is involved. Two big feminine planets are involved in this nakshatra, Venus, uh, Shukrachare. So respecting females, I have done a video, uh, the remedy for Lord Venus. So respecting females is number one in that list. Like there is a saying in Hindi, if agar ghar mein Lakshmi chahiye, to Lakshmi ko us thaan pe bhi rakhiye. Respect women. Regardless if you have girlfriend, if you have wife or not, you must be having females around you. Respect them. Don't become... A negative critic all the time. So this is one of the other remedies. We have discussed few other remedies in the earlier slides. Don't exploit them. Regardless if you have Rohini in your chart or not. Regardless, don't exploit Mother Nature. Don't exploit women around you. So these are very common sense based remedies one should do, which works wonders. So we all know in South India, each and every nakshatra is associated with 
particular nakshatra. So I found this nakshatra, the Kanchipuram, Shri Pandava Dhuta, Shri Krishna Perumal Temple, which is associated with Rohini nakshatra. So again, if you're living in India or if you're planning to go to India, you can take the blessings of this temple or you can uh, go into this temple, take the blessings of Rohini Devi and um, you can do that. So a few interesting points. Again, there were many, but I have only gathered few uh, points in this slide. So again, it is in Kanchimuram, Tamil Nadu in India, which is the southern part of India. So Rohini Devi received marriage blessings after standing on a toe on one foot, uh, on the right foot at the Shri Pandava Dhuta temple. And uh, after this, Rohini received the true blessings, the insights and divine realization with the darshan of Lord Krishna. So very, if you're too much into mythology like me, then uh, I get really fascinated with mythology. So very important to learn more about uh, mythology. So such a great point I got to learn when I was doing the research and putting up uh, the slides. So Moon married Rohini for the wisdom powers. They say and Kritika for Agni powers. So it's it's so interesting to know how the Rohini Devi got the blessings. So this temple is highly associated with that. And there is another uh, mythology involved, why it is called the Pandava Dhuta. Again, you can Google it, but in a gist, I can tell you, we all know um, those who have seen the Mahabharata. Um, the last attempt um, Lord Krishna did on the behalf of Pandavas as a Dhut, as a messenger when he went to Hastinapur and Duryodhan to plead to uh, Duryodhan uh, to avoid the fight, the war. But um, on the other hand, Duryodhan wanted to capture uh, Lord Krishna and he got really angry and um, uh, there is a mythology involved where he stood uh, he became actually uh, showed his Vishwaroop to Duryodhan which is mentioned or that Vishwaroop of 30 feet tall is shown in this temple in this Pandava Dhuta Shri Krishna Puramal temple so where he was pressing hard on the earth, again, the earth element is involved because it falls in an earthy sign. It's a very earthy nakshatra. We have discussed about that. So it's very good if you want to learn more about that. You can just do the Wikipedia. So great mythology, why it is called Shri Pandava Dutta. So that's what I got to know. So those who are born under Rohini star or if you have sun, moon or the Mahadasha Lord uh, into the Rohini star, should visit this temple and make offerings to Lord Krishna. Recommend is recommended to offer food to the poor people over there uh, as a remedy, as a karmic remedy. So this is I find it very interesting uh, because uh, I know that we also know you all know that each and every nakshatra has a sacred temple uh, back uh, home in India. So. Uh, these are some of the careers uh, uh, involved with Rohini. Businessmen definitely falls in the sec um, natural second house. So a lot of businessmen, artists, you can expect painters, actors, models. So here I have taken the picture of Salman Khan. He love exposes um, his upper body, which we have discussed in the traits. They like to show their body. So that uh, we can see in the uh, models as well, female models as well, musicians, composers, poets, writers, authors, fashion designing, ag agriculturists, farmers. It's a Shudra nakshatra, so a lot of agriculture is also seen from this nakshatra. Herbalist, cosmetic expert, expert hoteliers, restaurants, landscapers. This is just a few lists. There is a huge list. Uh, with each and every but again it will give you some idea so that's about it um, I think so stop share so I'll see you with um, 
some other video with another nakshatra i'm planning i have not decided yet which nakshatra i have to cover but uh, i'll see you guys again stay safe stay home stay happy um and follow the guidelines with, uh, with what is going on we all know because of the covid follow the guidelines of your um, um, authorities wherever you're living the bylaws they are passing so do follow that stay safe so thank you guys